All right, hello everyone. Um, so moderate to minor medical update video. As the time from the time this goes live for Patreon backers, um, the day after that, I will be going in for surgery. So I am, and for why? Well, let's, let's have a bit of an explanation. If you've been reading the blog itself, I've gotten into some of this, some, um, in terms of explaining what's going on. Let me just double check and see if I've covered some of this in the video. Nope. Okay. Um, and nope. Okay. No. All right. So I haven't talked on the video on this yet. So. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, you have noticed that this side of my face is a little different from this side. In fact, you can see it pretty clearly with my um, virtual background that there's a little bump on this side of my face. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know this hasn't always been there. And you may have gone, am I hallucinating something? Is Alex, is Count Zero, is he, is there a bump on the side of his face and I'm just not noticing it? Am I going insane? And the answer, you're afraid, is no, you are not going insane. I just didn't notice it because I look at my face so often um, doing these videos. Eventually you come inured to the look of your face at the whole, as a whole instead go focusing and paying attention on take, where my eye line is. Am I looking at the camera? Am I looking at the camera? Am I looking at the picture of myself on the screen because I'm using a webcam? Am I looking at the teleprompter little text script thing on one side of the screen while the other side of the screen has the actual video footage? That sort of thing. That's what you pay attention to. So you you become inured to your own face when you edit video with your face on it so often. Thus, here I am. Um, always here, there I was last month, like a month before where I was at work and my supervisor or my yeah, supervisor, a team lead, whatever, um, looks at me, touches the side of the face and goes, does that hurt? And I touch to feel the bump. I'm like, by the time I'm like, Oh, like this is, I have a TMJ. My jaw saws swings out to that side when it opens all the way. It's been doing that since high school, but Oh, this is just related to that. This is just some weird complication that there's a bump there. I kind of noticed a little bit of it, but that, oh, there's like something going on for my TMJ and that's what's going on. That's what's causing this. Maybe muscle stuff or that sort of thing. I figured I'd probably get it looked at sometime, but no rush, no priority. So I go home, talk to my parents, and then my mom looks at me in the kitchen and touches the side of her face in the same place and goes, does that hurt? And I'm like, Okay, when it's your boss, when you've recently had a supervisor change, that's one thing. When it's your parents, I'm like, okay, I should probably get this checked. So I schedule appointment with my doctor. I go in and say, hey, yeah, a couple people commented on this bump on the side of my face. It's been there for a while. I might have gotten bigger. And like, it doesn't hurt. But that could be nothing. It could mean that it's fine, or it could mean that something's going on. So she checks it out, feels it, and goes. Also, also uh, aggravate all this is I've had uh, cancer scares in the family, cancer family members who've had to go through chemo. So I'm like, I am now in the wonderful category of being of having a family history of cancer. So I should probably be careful about this anyway. Just have a check, just cover the bases. And my doctor feels and says, we're going to send you to the cancer center, the OHSU cancer center, have them check it out. I feel like I get that. That's what I want. They go over to the cancer center. They feel it. Say, okay, we're going to schedule an ultrasound. So I go in, they take ultrasound. Go, yep. There's a lump there. Um, can't tell much else about it. It's over by the gland that just produces saliva. Um, but there's also a nerve near there that handles your cheek muscle. And if we cut that, you're going to look like, ha look like you had a stroke. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to go take you in if you go in for a CT scan. So I go in <clears throat> to get my CT scan. I never had a CT scan before in my life. So first time for me. Yay, team. And I go to the CT scan table, and it looks like, like, they're like, ah, so this was the inspiration for that big medical scanner that they put Tetsuo in in Akira. Except, obviously, this is much more subtle, with much less whirly bits going around um, to make, to find out what's going on with your psych, uh, to determine if you're becoming a, a psychic teenager or a psychic adult who's going to destroy the city. And so they, they, they scan me and determine that, no, I'm not going to be a psych, I'm not a psychic who's going to destroy the city. And also, they have a pretty good picture of what this looks like and where it's located. And so when the time comes to the surgery, they, they can do that. So the doctor goes, great, you know, feels it again, looks at, the, says, I, I looked over the CT can stuff. It's good stuff. I think we should do a biopsy. So I go in for the biopsy. Have me lay on the uh, table. They do an ultrasound again to, to confirm where it is. Things do it properly. And they try to, to poke with, with needles to try and extract tissue from it so they can do a test to determine, is this cancer cells? Is this cancer cells or not? Is this? something you need to worry about is it if it is cancer cells is this, is this, if this is a tumor is it benign or is it malignant and the problem is it turns out that what this is is a big old mass of blood vessels um with other blood vessels around it and the thing that happens when you poke blood vessels is you get blood that's what you get you get blood so it's hard to get any like actual diagnostically viable samples of the area because it's it's all this blood coming out too. Fortunately, I'm on my side. It's on the part of my body that I can't look at. So it's like, great. I have no idea what's going on and I'm okay with that. Uh, I don't have to look at it. Look at the blood. They don't have a, a television so I can see what's happening. I'm peachy keen. Um, they clean it up afterwards. I still kind of have to scrape a bit of blood on the inside of my ear because that's gross. I'm glad I wasn't wearing earbuds. Um, so then it ruined the earbuds. But we can't take a diagnostic sample. So the doctor's like, okay, we got to, we should deal with this. We should remove this. And then we can test it afterwards, determine if there's a larger cancer issue that maybe we need to check elsewhere, check other stuff. Um, and so that will be the surgery that is happening next week. Um, and a brief explanation for what they're going to do and why I, and because of this, why I will not be on camera for two weeks or at least we'll not be able to record anything on camera for two weeks following this video. So if I do any streaming or anything after this during my recovery period, I will be completely off camera. And the video that I do will be in the SF Debris talk, um, purely voiceover style. So first they're going to do is they're going to do an embolization because again, lots of blood vessels there, lots of blood, hard to see what you're doing. And there's that nerve I talked about over here that you don't want to cut. Because, again, you don't want to look like you had a stroke, especially when you didn't have, have a stroke, because you don't want people to bore you and think you had a stroke. And also, if you do have a stroke later, which I hopefully will never happen, you want to be able to identify that, yes, in fact, a stroke happened. So, we do what's called embolization to stop the flow of some of the blood, of the blood vessels around here, so that they can actually see the area where they're operating. And then... Close my door a little bit. Make sure that nobody who doesn't want to hear this doesn't have to hear this. Um, they're going to make like, like um, uh, when they described what the procedure was, my brain immediately went to face off. They're not taking my face off, but they have to get underneath my skin on my face. And it sounds gross describing it. It's probably the worst to do. I'm going to be out, so I won't be able to see or hear or remember any of it. So that's okay. So yeah, they're going to get under the skin of my face on this side and deal with the mass of blood vessels, whatever the frell this is, and remove it. And then for a couple days, out, then for a week afterwards, I'm going to have a hose probably or tube coming outside of my face to help with drainage. So I want so that's going to look gross. I'm going to look like a Harkonnen. That's my Halloween cosplay this year. If this work happened to close to October, so I'd, I'd be I'd, I'd be a Harkonnen, but nope, I'm not. Timing's wrong. 
Uh, and then for a week after, and then we got that. There's also going to be a bunch of um, like stitches and stuff around where they had to go under the skin. And so I got to deal with treating them with that so that the stitches can dissolve, sutures can dissolve properly. And um, so I don't look like a bad guy or like a, a, like a bad guy or tough guy from some weird post apocalyptic post apocalyptic anime like from um like from like some guy who's from a uh, fist of the north star is gonna get punched by kenshiro a bunch of times and and their only line is an is at best a nani so i don't look like that guy and that's gonna be what's happening so yeah i'm gonna be just kind of, on, on the one hand get to hang around the house get to watch some movies tv anime play video games while I recover, definitely not going to be doing that much on camera stuff. I might try to do some gameplay footage capture and that sort of thing for Nintendo Power Retrospectives or um, what for um, the games on my, uh, for lack of a better term, New Year's resolution to beat list and go through some of those and see if it, when we were out for a week. Due to snow, I beat Marvel's Midnight Suns. Maybe when I'm out for a week or two weeks due to recovering from surgery, I can get through a couple other games on that list, get through some anime on that list. We shall see. But that's what's going on with me. And now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.